personally, for me, I've never had a bad GSI, but if I did have a bad GSI, I think I would um, first go talk to them about the situation and then see what I can do from there. And if the problem still um, continues, then I would ask to like, go to a different uh, discussion section and you know, see the GSIs or go to a different GSI. Right. What would you do? Um, I definitely think if it's like a certain situation that caused you to dislike your GSI, then just talking to them about that certain situation, that specific thing, um, is a good way to get over any hard feelings. If it's just like a personality clash or you just don't like their teaching style, then it's definitely, you know, you might want to get out of there, especially if it's early in the semester. Um, I have had a GSI that I really, really did not like, and unfortunately, it was for a lab, and it was really tight schedule and we couldn't really switch in and out of labs without being very far down on the wait list. So I kind of just had to, you know, suck it up and know that I didn't like their teaching style um, very much, but there was also, you know, a lot of professors office hours I could go to to get help. Um, a, um, a course professor had his own office hours who I could get help from. So there's always other resources. Um, yeah, yeah. Just be sure to like take action, mm -hmm. and if you just like, you really do just like your GSI, then do something about it because you don't want to be stuck with them for like the entire thing. So, right, especially if they're like preventing you from getting the best learning, or they're grading you in a way that you don't think is fair. 